Hey guys, Scott here. So, I, uh, I started in on the car today, Trans Am project, and uh, it escalated very quickly. I'm trying to fix three things at once, because they're in my eyesight, so. And I think I did a pretty good job so far, but now comes the moral question. The moral code, what would you do? I know what I would do, and I know what I'm gonna do, but, so it goes, when you're doing rust repair or restoring a car, right? It can escalate quickly. You can go from one little fleck of paint and you just pick at it. And before you know it, the front end comes off, the whole uh, fenders and hood and everything's going out to get paint and body work done. And you're restoring this thing like a frame off resto. And that's the trouble with these cars. That's the trouble with all car projects, any project, anything you're doing, car, house, hip, flip a house. Once you see a problem, it's a simple problem. Like right over here, let me show you something really simple, right? This is just for instance. This is my radiant floor heating right here. See this red line? Here's my weight bench or my whatever this is, my sissy squat bench, whatever. I didn't even realize it, put it right on top of this. Somebody, when they poured the concrete floor in this house, didn't keep the radiant deep enough in in certain spots. So this is exposed. So if I wanted to put the heat on, this is what heats my whole garage floor. And now it's out. So if I nick that with something, it's going to leak. So that, that right there is a problem, right? So this is the same thing with the car, right? I should be looking at that before I look at this. And what's the fix for that? Do you, do you re-flood the whole floor with concrete I'm up two inches? How do you keep it from cracking? A little bit of thin skim coat? You know, you tell me what to do with that. Help me out. I kind of know what to do over here. I kind of have an idea. I don't know if you can see this or not. But in this area down here, there's a little bit of rot in here. See where my finger is? That's my finger. There's some rot and rust, okay? Now, aesthetically... Right. If I'm going to change, if I'm going to sell the car, I could put the new package tray in here. I should say the new battery tray in here. Nobody will ever know. Nobody will ever know. They'd have to lay down under the car, look in the front, look underneath. And odds are you got about an hour and a half when you're looking into the car. They're probably going to move on with their day and say, all right, let's buy the car. Let's not buy the car. They're not going to not buy the car for that issue. But it's an issue. And the reason why it's an issue is this is a structural body mount. We know that. I talked about that the other day things in the way this is a body mount that's fine there's strength there it's never going to be a problem in, in the next 20 years that i have this car or five minutes but this might start to rust this is the the, the the mounting point for the battery tray these are solid so that might eventually rot out rust out in the next 10 minutes and the battery will always sit crooked and people say like, oh, what's up with the battery ah, i don't know something's up with the package tray. you know you could lie all day long you can lie like a rug, man, you know? But to me, that's not what I like to do. I can't do it, it's not in me. I don't know why, it'd be a lot easier, right? Over here, there's some rot. This doesn't really matter as much. This is a structural piece, that's good, it's solid. I hit it with my chipping hammer and I flaked off all the old junk and it's it's solid. It's holding up the cross member, or it's holding up the, the radiator support, uh, it's holding up the body mount. This is all good here. And it's even good back in here. There's another mount back here. This thing. That's solid as heck. So nothing's going anywhere. This little piece, what I'm going to do is, because I want to sleep at night, is I'm going to go over here where I have some structure. I'm going to go over here where I have some structure. I'm going to bridge this gap. I'm going to try to keep this mount. If I can, if it's rusted out, i got to get rid of it. It's weld this all in here with metal. I'm going to weld to this. And I'm going to weld anywhere I can hit it. Just to bring some structure back. One other little sneaky peek spot to look if you have the same car or you're looking at buying one of these cars. A good way to know if you got rot there, lay your ass down or your butt or whatever you want to call it, your booty. I don't know if you can see it, but in there, up in this area, right along here, that's where you'd see it. Now, I'm not going to fix that aesthetically you can't it's going to be like a big project you got to take the whole front clip off just to put a piece of metal in there tapping it cleaning it spraying it with undercoat i'm okay because i know i'm going to put structure in behind it if this little furry edge is here 
I, I've gotten cut, carried away before and cut that stuff out and made, made the repair bigger. Like I've weakened good metal that was there trying to be perfect. You'll probably see daylight coming through here. Is it in there? It's really annoying. It's hard to see. You know. All right. Sorry for the movements. But yeah, in here, on the other side, if I spray that other side with undercoat, bury the rotted metal, cut it out, whatever I need to do to get it out of here. But I need to start to repair it first, uh, in my opinion, on some solid structure metal. I got good stuff here. I got good stuff here. And then I can come around and I could put a tabby tabby here. I could fill this with metal. Uh, there's a coat hanger trick that a guy uses, a uh, bad chat. He uses an old coat hanger. You get a metal coat hanger. I don't know what they're made out of, tin of some kind. I don't know. Uh, but this is a coat hanger here. Metal. Okay, not, don't, don't do this with plastic. But that'll give me some metal with my welder rod, MIG welder, to build it up so let me know what you think this is a big deal uh because i want to do it right and because i'm doing this channel right we're holding ourselves accountable everything i'm doing with this car i want to keep it noted another thing that i did today was i backtracked a lot of the wiring that was here you guys are you know looking at the wiring on this side of the car um there was a wire that went down to the blower motor for the heater disconnected so i hooked that back up i cut out the air conditioner com air compressor lines and i went all the way back to the firewall and this is what i do there's no reason to go back hunting them on, underneath there once i find out if they're dead or not i'm going to leave them here i got these two and i got a butt connector on them and i'll tape these up and i'll label them so if i ever need to pull power on that same size amp circuit i know i got wires over there i can hook to like when my electric fan comes in this week um i need to hook up a relay and that's a whole nother channel a uh, whole nother channel that's a whole nother video for the channel but uh there's a relay that i need to pull a switch 12 volt and then i got a power coming from like a, a constant so i want to see what i got over there if i have constant 12 volt that might be a good line to feed my um 20 30 amp uh you know i got to find out what the amperage is inside so and amps are dictated by the wiring gauge. We can go into it all day long. I could talk all day about this stuff, but um, there's different there's different gauges of wire. You know, like you could look it up. This is 14 gauge wire, you know, 14 gauge. And it's rated for a certain amount of amps for the circuit. If not, the wire melts before the fuse breaks. Thanks. Please watch, like, share, subscribe. I'll... Uh, I'll do some welding, cutting some metal, get some fabricate, some piece in there, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. And that's it. At least we all know that the front passenger part of my battery tray is the best it's going to be for, for that car. Unless I rip the whole car apart. All right. See you guys.